So this is a masterclass on how to set up Goai level, and I'm gonna walk you through step by step from start to finish. So let's go over exactly what Goai level is. We'll need to set up a domain, so we'll use Namecheap. What's up, everyone? So you want to get a domain? Domains are relatively inexpensive. Uh, you can they can get really expensive, but I would do a few things. I use Namecheap. I've included the link down below, which is super inexpensive. But what I like to do is actually use Beast Mode and use keywords that I'm looking for. So like we have a 90 day cash flow challenge and it's all about creating enough recurring income so that you can retire from your nine to five. And we go over step-by-step -step on how we do that in our uh, training. You can definitely check that out at boringpassiveincome.com and we'll pretty much go over exactly how that works and how you can actually win a dream car. So with that said, we want to find a domain name that is uh, pretty solid. So, I mean, you can use your name. So like Brandon Duff, and then instead of zero to $500, you can do like $5. And then I like to just select all. And then uh, you can append if you want, but I would undo premiums. I would hide unavailable, use domain hacks maybe, and generate. Uh, so it says, it appears you've selected too many options. Please limit your selection, including less than 500 domains. So maybe just take off Brandon, maybe just do Brandon Duff one word. And let's see what we get. Still too many. So let's uh, take the a pre, append a prefix and that should uh, fix it for us. So as you can see here, we have Brandon Duff Asia. We have Brandon Duff click. Dot .n, and then we have 403 more. This one actually seems pretty good. I mean, if you think about it, brennanduff.click. Um, I mean, easy name to remember. Uh, so this is just all the different ones you can find for a dollar to $5. So you can, like I said, get them relatively inexpensive uh, just by using that little trick by doing beast mode clicking, typing your name possibly, or whatever subject you wanna do. If you're doing like the 90 day, if you wanna join the 90 day cash flow challenge, so 90 day uh, like cash flow, probably do that, or 90 day cash flow, and generate those. And then it will link or display all the ones that are under $5. So really easy to do, that's how you, and then you would just buy a domain and we'll go over how to set your domain up in the next video. Next, we are gonna want to set up our domain. So we want to go to settings, go to domains, and then add a new domain. And you're gonna wanna do uh, two things. So you're gonna wanna put the domain name here, so bornpassiveincome.com or whatever your domain name is. You should have bought that in the very beginning and you're gonna add that, but you're gonna to wanna to copy this, this uh, A code right here, copy it, and then go over to your domain list and, and, um, and Namecheap, and go to manage the domain that you just bought, go to advanced DNS, and then add that record here. And so it's an A record. So as you can see, I have A record, and then that IP, and then it, you want to add www for the C name, and that's what this is right here. You want to copy this and add www, and then the value of flash.funnels.msgsender.com. So you want to make sure both of those are set up correctly. So to break it down, A record is the at sign with the IP address. And the C name is www.flash.funnels.msg or sense, whatever it is. And you're going to want to click OK. And it should say, yay, it's been added. And then you want to add the www section to it. So boringpassiveincome.com. And if it doesn't uh, say congratulations, it's because it just hasn't populated yet. So it might give it like a few minutes. Also, I like Namecheap because of that reason. It's pretty quick and I have it as a one minute, and then that is about it. So we'll be setting up um, from here, actually, we'll be going to our actual domain, go to our site, 
go to our funnels, go to this uh, social tycoon. And then you're going to want to go to settings and then select that domain. And you can put it, whatever your domain is here, and you're going to select it there and then you're going to save. I'm not going to do that because I don't want it to edit my uh, current domain, but that's an easy way to set it up. What's up, everyone? So you're going to want to set up a new Stripe account or just use the existing one that you have. And it's really easy to set up. So once you sign up and fill out all these details, verify your business, add your bank account, secure your account, all these extras, you're going to want to click through this and obviously do what, uh, whatever works for you. Um, we're going to do 0%. And uh, from there, you're just going to make sure that you have all of the right information. So you're going to want all the right information in here. And then once it is complete, go to settings, go to integrations, which should be right around here. You're going to go to Stripe, which is right here. And you're going to want to put this information or you can connect with Stripe. That would probably be the easiest. And all you do is log in and then it will connect your account. So this would be a demo account. And you are connected. So that's how easy it is to set up your uh, Stripe account within high level. What's up everyone? So we're gonna be setting up our PayPal account. And for this, we need a business account and we need to log into developer developer.paypal.com. Once you have a business account set up, then you're going to actually set up uh, your sandbox ID and your live ID with each secret ID. If you don't know how to set up a business account, you can go to Google and you can type in a bit how to set up a business PayPal and uh, they will walk you through it. There's millions of video different videos. I'm not going to go over something that's simple like that. And so as we move into getting this information, we have logged in to our uh, PayPal developer. So that's the developer.paypal.com. And we're gonna go to our live account. We're gonna create account and we're gonna type in the account. So you'd wanna do like 90 day cash flow challenge, 90 day, 90 day cash flow challenge. Um, I'm gonna just do test cash flow. And uh, let's just take this out and create this app. From here, all we're gonna do is copy the client ID and the secret ID. And so the client ID is right here. I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste it into uh, this live ID right here. Make sure that I am on live. So this does say live. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab that secret key. Sometimes I like to just paste it in the address bar um, in case it, um, it grabs extra characters or space, um, you don't have to do that. But as you can see, it just said it connected and it worked. So I'm going to go ahead and now do the sandbox. So I switched over to sandbox here, as you can see live on my test one here, and then my sandbox, I'm going to go ahead and click sandbox. We're going to change this to 90, uh, test 90 day. create app and we're going to do the same exact thing. So all we're going to have to do is go to client ID, grab this, paste it in the client ID and then go to the secret key, which is right here. Copy it. Paste it right there. And as you can see, it is now connected. So that's how you add your PayPal account to your high level. You will need a business account and in, on PayPal. And that's how you, and you will need to go to developer.paypal.com. So I'm gonna give you a tour of high level. This is a little bit older of a version, but uh, it still covers the major points. This is our test account that we use. We do have a lot of accounts, as you can see, just like hundreds of people. And um, so with this, this is our dashboard. We can track how many leads we have coming in, how many people are, are converting, opportunities, our uh, 
campaigns, if they're manual and how many SMS messages we're sending, uh, all sorts of different things and a to-do list. So pretty cool stuff. We do have a um, conversation tab. So all of our TikTok messages, phone messages, emails, uh, all sorts of different things are all categorized in here, which is kind of nice. We do have a calendar so we can assign a calendar. So as a coach or consultant, if we have meetings or appointments, we can put them in our calendar and we're going to go over how to set all of this up. And then uh, we have contacts. So people that opt into our lead funnels or uh, any kind of lead generation uh, or a phone call, it's all tracked through here and it'll show you all of our leads. Opportunities are similar to pipelines. They're just uh, this, pretty much the same thing. Um, as far as payments, we have how much money is due, how many invoices, unpaid, unpaid, um, orders, trans, uh, subscriptions, which is kind of nice. We can keep track of our subscriptions, transaction products, coupons, tax settings, and different integrations. And this is our integrations for both PayPal and High, uh, for Stripe. Um, all something that you need, that you do want is both Stripe and a PayPal account uh, because those are the two that are integrated with high level. Uh, marketing, we do have our social planner so you can post on all sorts of different things from Twitter to LinkedIn, Google, uh, uh, your Google house, or whatever it's called, Instagram and Facebook. And then we have our, for emails, we have templates, uh, we have campaigns, so if we want to send out 10 emails to people or 15 emails, we definitely can do that. Same thing with templated messages, link, and even an affiliate program, which is kind of nice. They just set this up, which is really nice because now we can have our own affiliate program built in with high level. Uh, and then we can also have payouts. Um, and then we have automation, so you can do your workflows, triggers, all that set up. Um, for our 90 day challenge. So everything's ready to go pretty much with our funnel. It's live. All you have to do is add your domain, your uh, Stripe account and your PayPal and your mail and to send it. And that's pretty much it already done. Um, even the products I believe is already added. It does need to add a product, which we show how to do, but uh, everything else is pretty much done in here for you. Um, Reputation, if you want to manage your reputation on your uh, Facebook account or page, that's a great way to do that and reporting uh, for ads. So that is the rundown of the different sections. Some other key sections that I want to go over are sites because there are membership areas. So we do have blogs, WordPress uh, membership area. So we have a membership uh, site right here with our challenge and then uh, an offer to actually buy that. Um, you can set up your own membership site by going here, creating a new product and creating Sprint, Marathon, whatever different one you want, and then setting up a offer. Uh, we'll go over more in detail about that later. Um, there's analytics, how much things are going for and how much uh, people are actually uh, getting from the course by doing the assignments. And then there is uh, form builders for opt-ins. Um, there's an analyzer for how many people are opting in. You can create surveys and build them. Uh, there's chat widgets, which you can have a little chat widget pop up on your uh, funnel to have someone get in touch with customer service. Um, so that's the gist of the sites. And as far as to uh, settings you wanna go over, this is where all your business information is, from your uh, address to where you live, to your phone number and a niche. Also your login and password for your team. So if you wanna add a team member to log in remotely, they can. So the details are you just add employee and then put in their roles and what uh, subscriptions or sorry, what uh, permissions they have. So you can remove them if they need to be. Uh, the pipeline, so we talked about the dashboard and opportunities. This is where you set up the pipeline, and we'll talk about that later. Calendar, again, we'll talk about this later, but how to set up a calendar. Phone numbers, so you can start adding phone numbers with Twilio and start power dialing if that's something that you want to do. Uh, reputation manager, so this is what we talked about for the Google uh, 
Google Place, um, Google Google Business or whatever. Um, and then we have custom fields. Uh, we do have your domain. So if you want to set up your domain here uh, and set it, assign it to a funnel, really easy. Um, and then as far as there's some URL redirects um, integrations, so setting up your Google account, setting up QuickBooks, um, you have your TikTok account, Shopify, Stripe, everything's built in right here. Email services, so this is setting up your Mailgun account so that you can automatically send emails out. Uh, we use Mailgun ourselves and we show you how to set that up. And then uh, tags and all sorts of different things. So that is the high level tour. Uh, we'll be going over how the editor works and kind of take a advanced funnel and show you all the different elements so that you understand how everything works in its place. And so uh, in doing so, let's just go over a few of the elements, columns, rows, and sections so that you can understand how all this works. So as you can see here, we have a section here, which is the green color right here on this left-hand side. And then we have a blue right here, which is the row, as you can see the row here. And then inside that we have columns. So this can be two columns, three columns, four columns, five columns in the purple. And then the orange is actually the element itself. And so if we click on the elements, you can see we can change the subheading. So that's the element and we can change the font size. So if we want to take this to 28, uh, this is 24, let's change this to 52, 42, 52. So it just makes it bigger as you can see. And so uh, all these are different parts of the funnel. So we can edit the padding. So if we want to move the padding a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right, we can push it up. So it's or down rather so that there's more room with the padding up. Same thing with margins. We can push the, the actual text down. So all sorts of different things here. You can change the colors. So if you want to say, for instance, this is bold text. So I have my bold color right here. And then this is just regular text. Uh, and that's just the regular color. Uh, you can also change, like if you wanted to add a link here, uh, say if I wanted to add a link to this little section, it will turn this blue. So we can go like this and it will change that blue. Uh, very easy to unlock this like this and change it back so that we have all of those colors. There's a lot of more other things and we'll go over in the advanced settings on how to set everything up. But this is some also custom fonts. So you can change the header font or content font to a custom font and then change any kind of font you want using Google. So these are all the different ones. And then these are your favorites. So that kind of runs down the uh, text element. There's also borders you can add. Um, you can change it between essentially the mobile version or the desktop version. As you can see, I have this as set to desktop, but if I switch over to the mobile version, um, which I need to obviously fix because I haven't updated it in the mobile, is um, if we go to advanced, you can see that this is now set to mobile only. If I were to click both of them on, then this other text way we build financial freedom with micro streams will show up. And as you can see, we don't want that. So uh, we definitely want to turn this one off. So very, uh, very robust and really allows for a lot of customization and allows for both mobile and desktop compatible. Uh, this is a video element. So it's just a link from YouTube. You can also add uh, Vimeo, Westa, custom embeds or hosted videos. So all sorts of different ways you can add it and then also remove autoplays and controls. So things you can do and then obviously change out the size of the actual video. The smaller if you want or full, full width. And then this is a button. So you can change the button to go to next steps, can open another window, can do upsells, downsells, hide elements, do a call, uh, at, do email addresses, memberships, all sorts of different things. So pretty cool here. Uh, we'll actually be showing you how to set up uh, a free course here in a little bit. But uh, if you want to check that out later, 
this brand, all brand new business. So as you can see, bold text here, this is a picture and I done this, did this through Canva and I made it a GIF so that the GIF was uh, auto plain. And as you can see, it has just this underlining thing. These are again, the testimonials, did this through Canva. We'll go over some strategies later. Um, this is another picture. This is a uh, text. This is a text with border. So we went to here, put on border, which is two mil, uh, pixels and then full bordered and dash. And as you can see, it is a dashed around it. And then as you can see here, these are two columns. So this is one row, but two columns, those purple sections. So purple and then purple. So to kind of re show you how we did that, we just added a row right here added a row and then we added uh, two columns. So if we wanted to uh, add two columns there, um, so two, two, we added run row and then two columns. So as you can see, we can add row, add row, and then this is where you pick your columns up to six. If you wanted to manage these uh, columns, say you wanted to change and shut off one. So say we didn't want this first column, we can unview it. So we unviewed that first one, we can unview some other things, we can actually edit the column. So this is the first column settings. This let's go to two column settings, here. second column. So this is that second column we were talking about, we can change all sorts of different things here from the background. So as you can see here, we changed the background of the, the column just like we did here. And so that just allows for a lot of extra customization. I know this is kind of boring, but it's kind of stuff you gotta learn. So uh, these are all videos, so I just embedded videos. This is a picture, this is text, this is another picture. Um, text, more video testimonials, pictures. Uh, this is a bullet. Uh, so if we go to uh, bullet list, these are these bullet lists and I can change instead of arrows, say uh, coaches, I can actually change the icon to more of this red. And so now they're all red. And so now they're all red and it makes it really easy to adjust certain things. So if I didn't want to say red um, icons, I can say I wanted red text and go to text and go here, and now they're all red. Um, if I wanted to bold this, I can obviously bold it and it'd be a different color because my bold text is brown or black. So all sorts of different things you can do here. Um, makes it really, really easy. If you're used to ClickFunnels, then you should be used to this. So build recurring income, um, buy passive income, and this is what the catch is. So this is just, uh, again, another, uh, this is a section followed by a column, followed by a row, sorry, a row, a column, and then element. So this is, again, the uh, text. Uh, this is another button, and then vi more video testimonials, more pictures, all sorts of different things. So that is the gist of it, of the element. Let's go over the actual elements themselves. So if we go, we have uh, headline text, subtext, and paragraph text. So that's just the difference between the this headline text and then this uh, paragraph text. So much different. This is actually just an image, so not to, uh, to worry. These are actually blog posts. I don't have any blogs, but if you had some blog posts, you can actually link them in here, um, which kind of replaces WordPress, which is kind of nice. You can add video, uh, test uh, images, or even uh, facts. So if you wanted to add frequently asked questions, so something like this, um, you can add to the end of your funnel, and that would be something that you would want to do. Uh, we can actually add a little bit of padding here, I believe is what I'm looking for. We can add it to the bottom if they don't have it here, it doesn't look like they do. So what we can do is just go to padding bottom or margin and push it down. So now this is a little bit lower. I can add all sorts of things. How much, how much does it cost to start? 
It's going a little bit slow. I don't know why, what the issue is, but uh, let's just, there. How much does it cost to start? And then I can just put in $1. And then if I save that, you can see that this will be in the preview. So once I scroll down, to the very bottom, you can see how much does it cost to start? $1. And so uh, pretty easy to do. Cool little uh, option that they recently added. Uh, let's go over some more of these other ones. So we have uh, fax, frequently asked questions is what a fax is. Custom coding, if you want to add, say, a form or something else. Surveys, calendars, maps, SMG, reviews, countdowns. So this is the difference between let me show you all three. This is a countdown. And they're all pretty similar to say the least um, as far as what they do. So this is a day timer, this is a minute timer, and this is a countdown. So I can essentially add the date, say for tomorrow, and it'll I can actually add the date. And so it'll count down from a particular date and then it'll change whatever happens. So if I were to, I believe if it ends, it redirects it to another location, which is kind of cool because then it is very, you can add scarcity here. Similar thing, this is a minute countdown. So you can just write in the time versus the date. And then similar to what you can do is you can auto expire for X days, hide timer and show elements, or you can uh, auto re uh, reset. This is good for like, if you have a webinar, so essentially you would um, hide the timer and then show the sales uh, login and all that stuff. Very easy to do. And then this is just a day timer. So if you wanted to uh, do a particular time, say uh, 8 a.m., 8 p.m., then it will count down and do it similar. All of them work pretty much the same, but they just have their small nuances. As far as the uh, navigation menu, there's a navigation bar so you can add your name, your business and contact information. Good for blogging, progress bar, divider and image feature. So this is just like if you wanted to add a text here and then some images or a image divider just adds a line and uh, two step order form. So these are your elements for purchasing. So it doesn't matter what site or what page you're on, you can always have a one-step or two-step order form. The difference being is one step is all in one versus a two-step order form allows for uh, opting in and then selling. So for instance, they put in their information here, they opt in, and then you can say, you know, go to step two to get your special gift or whatever, and then they can sign up here. And then what, say for instance, they put in their information and then they go to the second place where the purchase is, you capture their information in this first step so you can retarget them. Instead of having a separate order form or a separate page, you can build it all in one. So all the different things you can do within a uh, high level, this is the editor. There, we'll go into more details uh, later but I just wanted to kind of go over all of those things. A few other things I want to go over though really quickly is the pop-up. So you can put in a exit pop-up. So if someone decides to leave your site for whatever reason, you can be like, hey, don't leave so quickly. You could get, be getting this for a dollar um, if you know if they wanted. So show pop-up pop up on exit. So essentially what that does is uh, I have it checked here, show pop-up on exit. So if I go and preview it, and I go move my mouse, I think off screen, then it will uh, pop up. So um, maybe I didn't save it, but or maybe I just don't have anything written in there, so it's not gonna pop up. But that's essentially what you do. Let me see if I can just maybe do a two-step order form and see if that works. Um, so 
preview. And it popped up. See, when I took it off screen, it popped up. So uh, really easy to do. So that's a few little things there. Um, let's just shut off the pop-up because we don't need it. So we'll just able. As far as some other things that you want to look out for, so this settings tab, this is where your metadata is. So this is where you would put your name, uh, editor, all sorts of different things. I don't know what this is, so we'll do Brandon. Duff. Um, this is invite only. And thanks for joining the party. So when you run ads, essentially, this is what it would look like on the bottom is your website URL. Thanks for joining and that fun stuff. We also have some other things like tracking code. So you can put your, uh, your pixels here. So if you want to track where people are, custom CSS. So if you wanted to add custom CSS to your site to make it look, change the background color and image and the type of uh, headline font and content font and what those links look like. So all sorts of cool things. And then obviously you have uh, your mobile compatible, what it looks like via mobile, and then what it looks like via desktop. So that is the gist of it all, uh, how to use the editor and everything you need. And we'll go over more details. What's up everyone. So we're going to be setting up our uh, email provider service so that we can send professional emails. You're going to need to set up your own dedicated domain. So it's really easy. All you're going to do is you're going to need two things. One is your name cheap account and two, you're going to need to go to settings and email services. And so what you're gonna do is once you're logged into your domain, so I'm gonna, for this example, use going 100 as my domain, uh, do whatever you want. And then what you're gonna do is go back to your uh, settings here, click on dedicated domains, and you're gonna add a domain. So you could put LC like they have, or mail, or whatever that is for you. Um, it just really depends on you. But this one has LC, and then I can do going100.com. And then this will send from the subdomain of uh, LC. And then all I have to do is add these domains. So I'm gonna add this manually. So I can either click continue, and it's setting up the domains, uh, setting up everything, receiving the DNS, and then I add it manually, or which th this is where I add it manually. So um, since I haven't done it already, this is how you do it manually. So all you have to do is you're gonna copy these parts so um when we go to domains you're going to go to advanced dns kind of like when we did when we added the a record a record and c name here now we're going to add these so c name is going to be email actually it's going to be lead connect so this would be lc and it's mailgun.org and then automatic and i put one minute So I have that, and then let's go over all of these settings. So C name is actually this one. So as you can see, it says email.lc.going100. And all we wanna grab is everything before the domain. So this is actually gonna be changed to this. Uh, we'll go ahead and go to LC and go ahead and change the MX records. So this is gonna be C name text, and then this down here is going to be your mail settings. So you have to actually switch from uh, whatever they have, I think is, um, I hate that that pops up. Whatever it is that they have under, oh, damn, how do I fucking close this? Um, click custom and then you're gonna add this information here. So MX record, uh, the, the, mxa.mailgun.org and one, and then mx record a mx2. Dot, that two. So I'm going to copy this. This first one is going to be LC. The second one's going to be LC. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and confirm both of these. So again, just to be clear, 
all you're copying is the first part up until the domain. So once it goes to going like whatever that subdomain is, you're going until this version of it. So, so like for instance, text.cxd. I have the text right here, right here, pick domain. domain. I'm gonna save it here. And then I'm gonna copy the record, which is right here, and paste it in here and save. And then the next one is LC. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab all of this, paste it in and click. And that should be all of them. So that if you, if we look at redo this, we have five. We have two texts, one, two. We have a C name, we have a C name right here. And then uh, we should have two because the WW and then the, where we're sending the mail from. And then finally, we have two MX records, which are down here. And all we had for this information is LC, LC down here, and then the required value and required value. And then all we do is just click verify. It's going to say that this is, these are all verified, but this one's missing. So uh, I need to actually have, it's, it's, it's wrong. So let me look at this. It's probably right, it just needs to update, like, And then uh, sometimes it just messes up and yeah, see, it's already verified. So as you can see, all verified. Um, so it's gonna say, it's gonna take 60 seconds to propagate. So it's all good. I have my dedicated, this should be dedicated already. Um, verify now, verify domain. And ultimately what we want is once this is all verified, uh, which it should be right now, We'll get the green light and then we can send mail email so um sometimes this is a little finicky so just bear with it um there we go so it's now pending it's once this is uh done it will give me the uh llc and if i just refresh this it should probably be done uh, it's really really quickly to be honest um verify now let's just try this again there we go. So now it's been issued. Uh, we have our name, email. Uh, we can change some of this stuff, I think. So if we set headers, we can change it from Brandon Duff, Brandon at going100.com. And so now I have my, uh, my headers, shared IP. This is another thing. I wouldn't worry about it right now because it's not that important, but a shared IP versus a, uh, a dedicated IP. Are, is much different in sending, but we won't worry about that right now. But just to test this out, we're gonna go ahead and send myself an email. So I have Brandon Duff here, and I'm gonna send it from uh, Brandon at going100.com. Subject is gonna be uh, hello there. Hey. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and send it. And once I go to, so uh, invalidate. I don't know what that means, but if I go to my uh, inbox and refresh it, as you can see, it just refreshed and I received my email. Uh, mailed by going 100, going 100, all good. So reply to LC going 100. So if I respond back to this, hey Brandon, what's up man? You can see that uh, I will have that email address in my account. So pull it up and if I probably click off and click back on um, in the conversations, it'll, it'll refresh. Sometimes there it goes, what's going on? And then there we go, hey, what's going on? So that's as easy it is, as it is to set up your professional email. If you need to watch this a few times, go ahead. Um, but that's how you set up your professional email. What's going on everyone? We're gonna be setting up WordPress on a go high level and making it so that you have everything you need. Let's get into it. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure that you actually purchased WordPress. So just going to your sites, go to WordPress and buying it. Um, you can also do it through your uh, settings. So if you go to say your um, agency, go to the different uh, sites. So let's go to say manage client 
you can go to reseller and then set the price or you can just deploy it on your own and do it that way. So for now, we're just going to use the um, site here. We're gonna go to WordPress and you're going to set up your WordPress site. Next, we're gonna to want to add a domain. So all we do is scroll down to manage your domain, add a domain here, and then we can name it whatever. So this is gonna be content bounty XYZ, continue. So all we're gonna do is copy this value here into our name cheap. So we go here, go to uh, text, go back, grab this first key, and then the value. So back here, copy this, paste one minute, and then we're gonna add it again. So just boom, wait for this to take. And then we're gonna add another C record and the second one and this value one minute. And then we'll just, all we have to do now is just verify these uh, things here, which should take a second. So the first one is already verified. We're just waiting for the second one. Sometimes if you just delete it and re-add it, it, uh, it works. So you just, very easy. Should pe be pending here in a second. And then once that's done, we'll show you the next step. All right, so that is done. And now you can see that we have the C name and the A record. So super easy to add those two. We'll go back to our DNS. As you can see, they have the, we'll change this to A record and C record already coming up. So we'll just go ahead and change this. Delete this and we'll just copy these values. So C record or A record is going to this IP and the C name, which is www is going to this. We'll go ahead and do one minute and one minute. Confirm both of those. Save all changes. For whatever reason, the C record did not save. So we'll just go ahead and add that back. So will be www, one minute, and boom. So we have all of that saved. We'll refresh the page. So as you can see, we have all four now, and we're gonna go ahead and verify a DNS. And now we are successfully have added the domain. So now we can make this our primary domain, set as primary. And now we have our domain at Content Bounty. And if we open this up, you can see that it should have our sample page here once it loads up. And here we go. So we have our sample page for Content Bounty, um, which is just a temporary site. And then we can do all the updates. Next, we'll want to make a username. So what we do is go to Users and create a username here if you haven't made one already then you can log in to your dashboard using this link right here. And now we'll log in. So super easy, you just go and type in your username, whatever that is. Log in and there we go. So now we have our posts here, we have our media. Uh, I've downloaded a few plugins, Lead Connector and LC Wizard. You don't need to worry about that right now. Um, you can delete them if you want. But uh, essentially, that's how you get your first WordPress site up on high level. And there's a lot of things you can add. So, I mean, you can add appearances, themes. So if we go to appearances, themes, you can see that there is three here, but we can add new themes from all the popular ones, Astra, um, Cadence, 27, Generate Press, you know, all of them. They're, and these are all completely free. And then you can add plugins. So this is where all your plugins will be. You can add a new plugin for spam, for speeding up your site, to check your, the site of your health, um, a forum-based site, essentially, a performance. I mean, there's so many different things, BuddyPress. So, so many different things you can do. It's 
exactly WordPress. I mean, that's what it's meant to do. So we'll be going over all of the different ways. We'll be building this out as we go. Um, this is just to set up your domain and set up uh, WordPress so that you are fresh. And now we'll get into some of the themes and plugins we'll be using uh, in the next video. So you don't wanna definitely miss this. We do have a link to our community, which is in the description. And we'll be going over uh, you know, all sorts of ways to make money online and just how to build a WordPress site to for UGC creators and just affiliate marketers. So if that's you, then you definitely want to join in on the fun and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. I am gonna create some other videos on how to set up a community, how to do workflows, opportunities, more advanced things. This is just a brief overview. Uh, so remember to like and subscribe and I'm that's it. Peace.